are you the one who is not impressed by the idea that you need to continuously deprive yourself for years or even decades ahead, taking all the fun from your young years? Or maybe the idea of doing nothing after your early retirement is also not that glamorous to you. But still, the idea of financial independence appeals to you a lot. Then, the cost for may be the answer for you. Hello beautiful people, it's Tatiana Evelyova from People Living. On my YouTube channel you can find personal finance and self-development advice. So what is the cost FIRE? As you can remember, FIRE is an acronym that stands for financial independence and retiring early. Then what is the cost FIRE? The cost fire is the type of fire when after you have saved enough money in your nest egg to grow to your financial independence number by the time you want to retire, you don't have to save anymore. So let me explain more with examples. Comparison with traditional fire and 10% savings advice. Let's say we have a couple whose combined salaries are $80,000 and they are 30 years old, and after retirement they'll be able to live off $50,000. Thus, their financial independence number is 50,000 multiplied by 25, that is $1,250,000, taking into consideration the 4% rule. When you can withdraw 4% of all your savings annually in perpetuity. So, in the traditional approach of FIRE, you need to work really hard, live extremely frugally, save everything you can, side hustle, live way below your means up until you save this magic amount of money, your FI number, financial independence number. After that, your life changes drastically. You can lay on a beach and never work in your life ever again. Let's say the maximum amount our couple can save per year is 30,000. They don't have any vacations, no fancy restaurants, very few entertainment for 18.8 years. And they will retire at 48.8 years. Doesn't sound that appealing, doesn't it? Not all people can maintain this kind of lifestyle for such a long period of time. But let's say they are willing to retire a bit later. They would only have to save the initial $269,000. And that would only take them 6 years. So 6 years of extreme saving and after that for 20 years they can live as they wish, not burdened by saving at all. And they'll be able to completely retire when they are 56 years old not putting a dime towards their retirement for the last 20 years. Do you feel the difference? They'll be able to retire around 7 years later with the cost fire. But so many years before that, they'll be able to live without even thinking about their retirement. Think about all the things they can acquire with that money. Now you can wonder, why bother at all? Why have this period of extreme saving in the first place? Can I just follow the traditional approach of saving 10% of my income? Of course you can. Let's see what it will yield you in our example. Our couple's annual income is 80,000, hence 8,000 is 10% of their pre-tax income, which is $666.6 .6 a month. Investing this $666.6 .6 a month will bring them to the financial independence number of $1,250,000 only in 33 years. They'll be 63 already, pretty close to the retirement age. And if they start several years later, they won't even be able to reach their financial independence at all. Do you see the difference now? As everything in our life, there are benefits and downsides in the cost fire. Benefits of the cost fire. So, as you could have already noticed, there are several benefits of the cost fire. Number one. The period when you have to be extremely frugal and save your absolute maximum is shorter compared to the traditional fire. Number two, even before retirement you can have nice vacations, buy a bigger house and other non-frugal stuff. But remember, it is after you've saved for your initial nest egg. 
Number three, you still can retire earlier compared to the traditional retirement age. Number four, after you have finished saving for your initial nest egg, you can switch over to a less stressful but lower paying job as you don't need as much money as before since you don't need to save for your retirement anymore. Number five. Having the initial nest egg saved and in place allows you to have peace of mind and financial flexibility. In case something goes wrong with the economy, your workplace, or if some distorting personal events happen. Number six. In case you will earn more money or if you feel like you, you will need to have more money for your retirement, you can always add some extra money to your nest egg even after you've already finished saving your initial nest egg. Downsides of the cost fire The downsides of the cost fire are pretty obvious. Number one. Your financial independence will come later than in case you followed the traditional fire approach. Number two, you still have to live extremely frugally for a substantial amount of time to save for the initial nest egg. So how do you find the concept of the cost fire? Which way of achieving financial independence appeal to you the most? Please leave your comments below. I would love to read them. I would very much appreciate it if you hit the like, subscribe and the bell buttons. This way I will understand that you like the content I make and want more videos like this. And please share this video with those who you think can benefit from it. See you, love you, bye!